Get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. Get ready, get ready for a tea time and filter with your girl love and tea. Spilling all this hot tea on this podcast street. So get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. From tea time and filter with your girl love and tea. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. Um, so thank you guys so much for all the positive feedback on the new intro. I know a lot of you guys are definitely feeling it. So I really appreciate that. So right now, probably sounds a little bit different, honey. I'm not at home. Um, I flew down to New Orleans. So I'm down here in the Big Easy um, with my homegirls, um, homeboys. There's a big old group of us. We're all here celebrating one of my really good friend's birthday. You know, she's Team Leo. So I had to come down here and celebrate with them. But it feels good to, you know, just get away. Like I've been so busy with the house and it's been so much stuff, you know, needed to get done. Um, and it's coming together beautifully. So I was like, you know what? I need a break. So I'm glad to be here amongst friends. So if you guys don't know, <laughs> nobody, nobody at all. Here comes Amber Rose, honey. Okay, Miss Captain Save a Ho herself came running with her cape. She's upset and bothered and really pissed um, at her second baby's daddy. Um, basically, he's been out here slutting around, honey. He's been dropping it low and spreading it wide, <laughs> smashing everything that moves. And Amber Rose did the social media today to go off on him. She's very upset with this, and she's tired of being silent. So I'm going to go ahead and read her little letter, honey. Y'all might want to get your tiny violins out for this one. So Amber Rose says, I'm tired of being mentally and emotionally abused by people that I love. I've been suffering in silence for a long time, and I can't take it anymore. That's why I've been so quiet. I've been a shell of who I used to be, but I refuse to let anyone damage me anymore, family or not. Then she goes on to say, I'm tired of getting cheated on and being embarrassed behind the scenes. All 12 of y'all bums, the ones that I know, and there's probably more, can have him. Y'all very much knew that he was in a relationship with the baby and y'all decided to fuck him anyways. I saw all the text messages and the DMs. Y'all were well aware, but y'all don't owe me any loyalty, so it's whatever. I can't be the only one fighting for my family anymore. I've been so loyal and transparent, but I haven't gotten the same energy in return. There goes that word energy, honey. I'll never say the girls' names because I'm not in the business of ruining lives, but y'all know who you are. And as for him and his lack of loyalty, the disrespect is ridiculous and I'm done. Mwava. Then she goes on to say, my raging narcissistic mom can get the fuck out of my life too on my kids. Honey. Amber Rose is big mad. Now, what I find very interesting is that she's very upset, but Amber Rose forgets the energy that she herself put out there for years, okay? See, it's no fun when the hoes come home to roost, okay? I think I might name this podcast that, when the hoes come home to roost. It's no fun. But Amber, while we're talking about energy and the energy that you put into this relationship and the energy that you're not getting back, let me remind you, let me take you down memory lane and remind you of the energy that you yourself used to put out there for young girls, okay? Because remember, you got that name Mava, which is how they say Mava, you know what I'm saying, Mava, on the East Coast. They call you Mava because you were supposed to be schooling the young girls, Okay, to be better whores and sluts and everything else. So we're going to go ahead and break down the whole Amber Rose situation because she forgets the energy that she's put out there. And it seems like the slut energy that she put out there is just coming home to, you know, what I'm saying slut around. Now, I talked about this a few years ago because I was always against her slut walk. I thought the whole concept was disgusting and the fact that she hijacked a movement and tried to basically twist it for her own purposes. So for y'all who do not know, the reason why the original slut walk was started, it was started as a transnational movement calling for an end to rape culture, including victim blaming and slut shaming of sex of sexual assault victims. And basically this started in Canada in 2011. 
And what happened is that a Toronto police officer suggested that women should avoid dressing like sluts as a precaution against sexual assault. So once he said that, a lot of women were very, very offended. And so they started their slut walk movement, which was about calling out rape culture and trying to stop victim shaming and blaming. Well, what Amber Rose did, you know, she decided to turn quote unquote feminist. And so then she twisted it into something more nefarious. You know, instead of it being for that movement, it was about basically taking the word slut and whore and bitch and all the derogatory terms that people call females, take it and wear it proudly. You know, almost like how Ice Cube tried to take the word nigga, you know what I'm saying, and make it into something cool and chic. And now that, you know, the word has gone out the bottle, you can't put it back in. Now that it's in everybody's lexicon, there's nothing you can do about it. You got white boys out here hollering nigga. You got six nine top my nigga. To nice the word slut and to normalize words that were derogatory like whore and things like that. If you guys also remember, she caused controversy because back on November 23rd in 2015, Amber Rose got caught out for her new clothing line. She decided to drop a clothing line for teenagers um, and you know young women. And they, they had like t-shirts, crop tops, underwear, and slut was written on it, you know, slut and whore and things like that. And people were not happy about it and they were calling her out. So one of them uh, tweets said, my daughter would not patronize your clothing store line. Sorry. Somebody else on Twitter told her, seriously, some beautiful young woman is going to put this on shaking my head. Another person says, your collection lacks thought and style. Stop misrepresenting what feminism actually is. Hashtag no class. Hashtag trying way too hard. So people have been calling out Amber Rose for years, you know, about her constantly trying to promote this whole slut culture, this whole slut narrative, and trying to turn it into something positive. She also caused controversy that year. Because she did an interview and then she also did a book. She also had a book that year too called How to Be a Bad Bitch. And um, in that book, that was about her teaching people and giving young women advice on how to be, how to empower themselves, manage their finances, be an entrepreneur in a changing world. Um, but then there was a quote in the book that a lot of people were really upset about. And so she says, as women, we're fortunate enough to we're fortunate enough to use our seductive skills in order to be able to get money from our significant other. I also talk about seduction in the book. A lot of women don't know how to seduce a man. It's extremely easy once you get to that point. You can have anything you want out of them. So that is what she told the Times Magazine, and that was a part of the book. You know, like how to seduce men and get them for their money, and you know things like that. So this is the stuff that he's been pushing for years, you know? So she's kind of promoted this whole, you know, I'm a slut. It's okay. We're all sluts. It's okay to be a slut. And what's so funny about the whole situation is that for years, I would call out Amber Rose and call out her bullshit because I saw through it. And of course, unless you were praising her for her looks, you were a hater, you were ugly, you were just mad. But now the chickens are coming home to roost because there is no longevity in promoting slut culture. There's no longevity in, you know, being low vibrational and always promoting the worst of yourself. After a while, that gimmick gets old. And the fact that she was trying to sell this to young girls, like this was the way to be, this is the cool thing, it always bothered me. And I'm glad that I spoke out against it way back in 2015, way back in 2016, when it wasn't cool to do. Because now, fast forward to 2021, the chickens are coming home to roost. And we're seeing where all that slut talk and me being a whore and showing my, you know, pubic hairs on the internet, we see where that's gotten her. Okay. In the meantime, let me go ahead and play out this flashback. I guess Amber Rose's ass woke up on the wrong side of the bed because she woke up this morning talking about she felt like dragging somebody. Now, you know, she's the queen of anything slutty, slut walk, slut shame, and all that slut bullshit. Now, this is what's going down with Amber Rose. She caught herself trying to take up for Kim Kardashian today. Okay. This is what Amber Rose took to Instagram to write. I'm going to go ahead and read this to you guys really quick. So Amber Rose writes, at Kim Kardashian, I don't know you well, but I saw you speak about slut shaming. And as you know, I'm an activist feminist, so it spoke to me. Being slut shamed and ridiculed is not fun. It's hurtful and it's mean. 
Us women deal with it every day and I'm happy you can speak openly on this now. Because if anyone knows what it's like to be slut shamed, it's you. Live it, Kim. Make a difference. Speak on it. Not only when it's convenient for you, but when you can help others. Last year at my slut walk, I told my slut shaming story. This I would love for you to come and tell yours. This is an open invite for me to you and your sisters are welcome too. Let's let the naysayers know you are so much more than a sex tape 13 years ago. Fuck it. Own it. You're a mom, a businesswoman, a wife, a sister, and a daughter. Hope we can make this happen. Amber Rose Slut Walk 2016. Yay for all the sluts! <laughs> you know, I'm gonna need Amber Rose to have several seats with that. First of all... I find it funny that she's running to Kim Kardashian's defense. And after she posted that, Kim Kardashian and Khloe liked her status. You know, funny enough. Now, this is the same girl who was sitting on stage last year crying about how Kanye West went onto the radio station and said he had to take 30 showers before he could get with Kim because Amber Rose was so basically dirty and slutty. She was on stage crying. Kanye drug her ass a few weeks ago, said that Wiz Khalifa got caught up by a stripper. She got up on there and clapped back. Now the sudden she's running to defend Kim Kardashian. The thing about Amber Rose is I don't feel like any of this is sincere. What I find funny is that Amber Rose goes super hard for sluts and anything slut shaming. But yet and still, when I Google Amber Rose Black Lives Matter, nothing comes up. The only thing that comes up under Amber Rose Black Lives Matter is a bunch of slut stuff. But now if you Google Amber Rose and slut, all types of things come up about her slut walk and everything else. But this is the racially ambiguous women that so many black girls will basically chop your head over if you don't claim her as being black. She never really talks on black issues. She doesn't really talk about police brutality. Anything that's really affecting, you know what I'm saying, the hip hop community that she claims that she comes from. But when it comes to slutty shit, she's the first one out there with her megaphone trying to defend people from getting slut shamed. You know, I'm just not feeling that. I feel like. And so, what I find very interesting now is that those same sluts that she was training up, because remember, 10 years ago, these young girls were, you know, 13, 14, 15 when she was popping. And now those same young women are in their early 20s and they're fucking her executive baby daddy. See, you got to watch the energy that you put out there and the seeds that you plant to young, vulnerable women. That's why they have no respect. That's why they don't care that that's your baby's father because you told them years ago. Yo, what's up? Baby, let's go. Hey, tea sippers To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the next video.